Um, a few hints for you. Uh, you want to put together the... Oh, my cat is going to join us. Um, you want to put together the horizontal part first um, before you uh, put the vertical part on. So make sure your A's are together. That was my error. I had an A over here and an A over here. That is incorrect, and it won't line up. Um, hey, buddy, can you go that way? Um, so A's go together. Um, hook every hook everything up on the horizontal part then lower the vertical part onto it and it'll fit perfectly I had zero issues once I figured it out um, the instructions are of like almost no help they're terrible um, uh, so then uh, you take there's three bolts and you put those in you're going to need the tool that they give you and um, it's like a little Allen wrench thing. And um, you need to actually put pressure on because the bolts initially seem like they're not going to fit, but they do. You have to actually use the tool and put pressure on it. They will go through. Um, and uh, so you put all three of those in. This strap, before you uh, put the vertical part on, uh, if you're going to use this strap, you need to put it, slide it on there. This is so that you can like hook it to... Um, a bed frame or something to keep it from sliding around. Um, there's that method and then they give you four screws and there's various holes around in the frame for you to um, screw it down. So um, if you have something you can screw it into, you can opt for that. Otherwise, it's just going to be the weight of the mattress holding it down. Um, and then uh, the grippy part is excellent. It's super spongy and grippy. Uh, it's very good. Um, there are three height adjustments. They're very easy to do. You just slide this off. It doesn't come off by accident, um, but it's easy to, to take on and off. So there's three height adjustments here. It's currently on the highest one, and they are about an inch apart. So not a lot of variability in the height adjustment. Are you having fun, buddy? So, um, uh, he's having a blast. Okay, so the last thing is the, uh, the, um, bag here. It only attaches by these little clips. So, and then also the, this hook and loop fastener down here. So, let's see here. Uh, you see that? So, as soon as you pull something out of there, it just comes right out of the hooks. So that is not a good design. Um, I wonder if the that little thing, that little part could go, I think that, you know what? I think I'm realizing my error. I think if you put this in, I wonder if, I wonder if you could then, um, screw the screw into that little end unit right there. I'm going to check that out and see if there's some way to like screw the screw into that. I don't think so though. I don't think it's going to go over it all that far. But in any event, you need to figure that out in order to be able to use the bag. Or I was thinking if you take like a twist tie or something and wrap it around the hook and loop there, and then wrap it around the bottom rail to put some tension downward on it. That would possibly keep these clips in. Um, that is it. I hope it helps. Remember to keep the A's together. Do the horizontal part first. And then lower the vertical part down onto it. And it'll go together easily. Hope that helps.